The pandemic has affected many small businesses in this country, and as our next guest will tell us, many owners have had to adapt quickly to this new normal. Julie Yu is the owner of Toronto's boutique high-end fashion store, I Miss You Vintage. She's been using sites like eBay to support her business since the beginning, connecting with audiences around the world, and that's become even more important today. We're very fortunate to have Julie joining us this morning. Good morning, Julie. Tell us how you first became interested in buying and selling vintage items. Hi, good morning. Well, it always started off as a hobby. I was a student and it was way back in 1998. I was on a limited budget and I wanted to have a creative outfit that I would often find through thrifting. So I would frequent antique markets, vintage shows and pick up those little gems. And as you know, collection can slowly take over your place. And then you end up with so many things and everyone says, you need to open a store. So I took that leap and quit my nine to five job in 2005 and opened my retail store. And this month, we celebrate 15 years. Well, congratulations on that. But before you even had a bricks and mortar store, you use sites like eBay uh, to sell items. Uh, how did that help you grow your business into what it is today? That's right. I used eBay. And at that time, the site was purely auctions. So as a novice beginner, I didn't have to know the value of items. I would put them on eBay and let the market determine what it was worth. And to my surprise, I was making a really good profit and I kept accumulating it and putting that back into my business. And today uh, we've grown into quite a large company. The pandemic has affected so many small businesses. I have to assume it affected I Miss You Vintage as well. Absolutely. We're located on a really busy foot traffic street. Um, but of course, with the pandemic, we're a non-essential business, so we were forced to close. And so we had zero foot traffic. And I was really fortunate that we had our hands in different um, channels of selling. So I didn't have my eggs all in one basket. So when the retail store closed, I already had an online presence and used platforms like eBay uh, to reach a worldwide audience. And that was really a lifeline. And, and so did, did you find that uh, when you say lifeline, how vital was it? Uh, because there are a lot of businesses. I'm looking out the window here. We're on the same street. Uh, they had to close because of the pandemic, but you're still open. So what did you do differently? Well, absolutely. If you're closed and no one's coming in to buy your goods, your revenue is zero unless you're putting the goods into the uh, homes of the people out there. So we're through eBay, we were able to reach buyers all over the world who were able to shop from the comfort of their own home. What is, what is it about your passion for a high-end vintage clothing and accessories? You, 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 it must be because you love it. You do it because you love it. Of course, the number one reason is the passion, but I'm still addicted to the thrill of the hunt and the thrill of the <laughs> find. Um, retail shopping, the trick of it is to go frequently because it's a new store every day. Uh, unlike seasonal collections uh, that get things once a season, new things come in every day. And of course, the allure is to buy that designer item um, at a fraction of retail. And also you can be happy about uh, participating in the sustainable economy and it's good for the environment. And lastly, we, we couldn't uh, chat with you and not ask for some tips. Vintage fashion can be intimidating for some people. What is your advice for people looking to make a few purchases uh, for the first time? Where should they start? And is haggling uh, 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 acceptable? Of course, as a business owner, I can't stand the haggling, but yes, people do come in and haggle. And when we work on consignment, we have our fees uh, fixed with our consigners, but we can always reach out because at the end of the day, uh, everyone wants to unload and have some cash in their pocket. My advice, I think, is to shop frequently. Also with vintage and one of a kind in one size, if you see it and it's your size and you like it, scoop it up because it could go and then there won't be another one. And another thing would be to start small. You, you might not need to go head to toe in a full vintage outfit, but start with accessories. Handbags are really hot and easy to incorporate into your current wardrobe. Julie Yu, thank you so much for joining us and the best of luck to you as we hopefully move out of this pandemic. Thank you. For more information on I Miss You Vintage, head to our social media channels. And for more about how eBay is supporting small businesses, head to ebay.ca slash together. This weekend, they are also supporting the Canada United Weekend to help Canadians shop local and raise money for small businesses during the pandemic. Share your eBay experience on social media with the hashtag Canada United. Every time it's used, RBC will donate five cents to the Canada United Small Business Fund. Your morning is brought to you in part by eBay. Small businesses are no small thing. They're everything.